The name Horwich derives from the old English ha Weiss, meaning the place of the grey elm trees. Up to the 15th century, the heavily forested Horwich had been a hunting ground for Lancashire aristocrats. After the Battle of Preston in 1715, when 4,000 Scottish troops battled with English government forces in the centre of Preston, the land was confiscated by the Crown and leased to the Blundells. The Blundells were a powerful Lancashire family. There is to this day a Blundells Arms on Chorley Old Road. By 1881, 3,761 people lived in 900 Horwich houses. Ten years later, in 1891, the population had grown to 12,850 people. This expansion was due to the railways and the arrival of the locomotive works in 1887. Over 1,800 steam locomotives were built at Horwich Works and by the 1950s some 3,000 workers were employed there. During World War I, the loco works manufactured howitzers and artillery shells. In World War II, the site made cruiser, centaur and Matilda battle tanks. It also made artillery shells and some aircraft parts. In Alan Simpson's book, One Mile of History, he recalls as a child going for a walk with his grandfather to the junction of Chorley Old Road and Old Kiln Lane during World War II. This junction faces the Bob Smithy public house. At the top of Old Kiln Lane was a metal gate, which provided access to hundreds of battle tanks parked along the whole length of Old Kiln Lane. What I have also learned is many battle tanks were also parked along the whole length of Beaumont Road during World War II. These tanks would have been made at the Horwich Local Works and were waiting to be sent on active service. The story doesn't end there because as Alan and his grandfather look south towards Manchester, the sky turned orange with flashing lights. What they were witnessing was the bombing of Salford by the Luftwaffe. Records show Salford lost 8,000 houses 15 schools and the staggering 86 places of worship. Hundreds of people were killed and nearly a thousand were injured. Ord Sol suffered due to its proximity to Salford Docks and the Manchester Ship Canal. Both were big targets for the German pilots who wanted to cripple the country's industrial heartlands. <laughs>